All right, the three and four, mm -hmm. easy. Three, biological research. And you all know what this is. I sum this up in one minute. Biological research is using computer imaging to look at the brain tissue, right? PET scans, electron emissions tomography, MRIs, magnetic resonance imaging, fMRIs, which gives a half second by half second snapshot of brain activity, uh, CAT scans, electroencephalograms. These are all, it's, you look at an individual in a certain situation and you see what's going on in the brain and where it's going on in their brain and how intensely it's going on in their brain, right? Biological research. An example of this might be where in the brain is the individual, where's the brain most active when an individual is feeling aggressive and antisocial and wanting to fight and murder or kill or something like this? And where is the brain active when they're feeling content and pleasant, right? The fourth is very important in social psychology and it's Descriptive. Did you notice I looked at you like I was trying to, you were going to tell me because I couldn't, it couldn't come to my mind? Descriptive. And descriptive is important in social psychology because it has a lot to do with observation. So if you're a social psychologist, you do a lot of this. You go out on the park bench and you're sitting there as if you're another student just sitting around and you watch the behaviors of certain subcultures together. And you take notes on this. Right? How do males and females in this subculture interact with each other? It's like anthropology. Anthropology does all this. In anthropology, they call it ethnographs. You might go into a culture and live there for a while and live an emic experience. You know, emic meaning you live the lifestyle, you integrate with the culture. In social psychology, we also have something that we're going to study when we do the Cialdini book on the power of influence and persuasion. He does participant observation. Participant observation is when no one knows that you're observing. You actually think you're part of the group. So here's an example. Maybe, now I know this isn't true, but maybe uh, the, the school is wondering whether I should be teaching or not. And they know that the moment that they send a, a, a school board member, or a board of trustees member in here, and sit them in the back of the seat and watch me, I'm going to change my behavior. The moment somebody's back there in a business suit, I'm going to act differently. So maybe Jerry really has a PhD in psychology. And she was hired by the Board of Trustees to pretend she's a student and sit and take notes and ask questions and smile and, and all this other stuff. And I have no idea that she's actually observing me. Right? It's a naturalistic observation. She's actually participating in the class without my knowing that she's really taking observations on me. What yeah. was the one called with the, the push on the button? It's in an electric shock. That was an experiment. We're going to get to that one. That was the Milgram experiment. Yeah. That's good memory. No. Yeah. We'll be getting there. It's like when you see a cop and then everyone's When you see a cop and how you change your behavior. You see the camera watching its behavior. So naturalistic observation, you hide in the environment and no one knows they're being, the people being watched don't know they're being watched. In participant observation, you're actually going in and getting a job as a car salesman or a traveling salesman to learn the tricks of the trade. You're participating in the thing you're studying to get the insights. And that's it for research methods. Y'all already prepared? And Look in your email inbox for the review sheets and it'll be straightforward. Okay, so your email the review sheet. I have a question. Um, yep. Chapters one and two of the book. Yep. We have to study those, sir. Yes, you do. Chapters one and two, right? Just chapters one and two of the passing book. Just read those. I'll send the review sheet in. It's going to be 50 multiple choice true false. Bring your pencil with. Textbook, that's what I'm going to